This is Peter at ntrealty.me and we're in Potty today just to have a quick update video of this, uh, these uh, contemporary villas uh, on the hillside. So I just wanted to give you an update because I think the last video we did with the building was just in grey phase. So they're just doing the first of the six uh, contemporary villas and it's just to show you the, the style. So uh, you can see now that uh, the, the buildings are rendered, they've got a glaze, they've got the glass balustrades around the place. Uh, so the gives you a much better idea uh, of shape of things to come. Uh, pool here, here uh, infinity pool, these are the views. It's December, the sun is setting, so hopefully I'll be able to get the, the video in in time. So that's it. Uh, let me take you through the property to remind you about it. It's three bedrooms, three bathrooms. I'll just take you uh, through here, just show you the, the kind of downstairs area in the back of the building. So you actually have, little, I think this is a utility area, lovely picture window. And I believe that this is the sauna, or it could be the way around, you never know. And here you have the garage. The guys still working here, stone masons on the job, doing fantastic work. This is the idea of the stonework that they have. I just wanted to show you the back of the house as well. So it has this nice charm of the local stone, really beautifully been done. And this lovely long uh, contemporary villa. So parking down here, so obviously you can park a couple of cars here, one in the garage. Uh, you will see here you have the controls here for the underfloor heating. So just there, it's obviously a wet system. And this amazing, you know, windows that really kind of bring the view in. Double height, this great expanse with the sliding doors. Again, nice features. You've got this fireplace here with a corner fire. Again, using the same stone throughout the, uh, the property. In this area here, it's quite uh, interesting what the, the developers have done. They've actually sort of given you a living area here uh, without the windows. So they realize it's also important to give you uh, shade. So you have this massive expanse of glass here. Uh, and then you have this area here which would be cool and add to the sun and, and so on. As I mentioned, it's uh, four bedrooms and three bathrooms. So ground floor has the first bedroom. It's got the double doors going out to its own little terrace there. There's the bedroom and it's uh, its own ensuite bathroom. And just to remind you, so what I didn't mention, is this part here under the kind of a uh, big kind of uh, double height of ceilings is a kind of kitchen dining area. Stairs very elegantly done and uh, covered with, with uh, local stone, I think it's limestone. You can see this down here and then have these very very subtle lights going up here so up here on the right first we'll go into the master bedroom so you have separate toilets bathroom dressing area here nice big uh, area for the, for the bedroom with its own terrace So, and it's kind of nicely separated from the other half of the building, the other, the other bedrooms. And of course, these are the views. And then going to the other half. Then you have this kind of library, let's say media area. So you can make it into a library. Uh, put a little, there's a little uh, recessed area here for a big, 50 something inch TV, whatever you like. Fantastic views. You can't see it, I'll, I'll show you later on perhaps, of uh, Prevlika, which is Croatia, and the entrance to the bay. Two more bedrooms on this side, so they have their own terrace as well. And they share one bathroom, so you have the one bathroom area here, and then there's the second bedroom. So just to sum up, uh, 
The point of the building is that actually it's sold um, with the idea that you finish it yourself and it's priced accordingly. So you'll see the prices are this quality of design and build and so on, it's, it's quite good value. But they've taken out the part where, uh, which is for the, for the floor tiles, for the kitchens and bathrooms and things like that. Uh, and the idea is that you know, what's happening in Montenegro is a lot of people, have, they've bought properties uh, and then they've ripped out the kitchens and changed the floor tiles and doors or whatever it is, all these things. Uh, and this developer decided that it's better for the, for the uh, new owner uh, to choose his own things, either by himself or with an interior designer, and they have the the villa that really kind of suits themselves. Uh, the developer can do it for them, but obviously just to an uh, agreed price. So there we are, stunning place, great location. We're in Poddy. Uh, there's the entrance of the bay. That's what I want to show you. Let me zoom in a little bit, so you can see in front of you. You have Prevlika, this isthmus sticking out from Croatia. The entrance of the bay, you're, I don't know, probably 15 minutes away from Herzegnovi, uh, all the other communities. Handy thing is probably about 30 minutes from Dubrovnik Airport. Obviously subject to delays at the border in the summer and things. Uh, but uh, Tiva Airport is probably 45 minutes away. That's it. I'm Peter at ntrealty.me. If you have any questions, please, please feel free to contact me. Make a comment, like the video if you've managed to watch it this far, or subscribe if you want to watch the latest videos from us. Thank you for watching.